and good evening everyone it is now 1207 a.m at night and i am recording my voice to commentate on this video so today's video is going to be about the posterior chain no, no i'm not going to go scientific man the back as you can see i need a lot of work on my forearm because strangely my upper back and my middle back is curved uh, first off let's talk about warming up Easily put, if you fatigue yourself too much before hitting your actual set, you'll be prone to injuries as much as your lift will be much weaker. For an easy explanation of the warm-up, all you have to do is properly mobilize your muscles so that when you reach the actual set, you won't be prone to injuries or you won't experience muscle fatigue as much. So for example, to warm up to 395, which is my 3 rep max, I'd start with the bar, then 135, 185, 225, 275, 315. Once I hit 275 and 315, I'll start with three reps, three or two reps for 275, then maybe two reps for 315, one rep for 345, and then maybe I could jump to 395. So to explain what I'm doing in the clip is I'm just hitting my first ever 395 by three PR. And by the way, I'm doing this suited. I have a deadlift suit, which is really, really loose. So it doesn't really help, but it still helps me in my pulling. Very strangely, my form is very messed up today. Like, what the hell messed up? Like, super what? Messed up! Also, next week's gonna be my first powerlifting meet. So I might as well take advantage of it and use a suit so that I can get as much PRs as I can with the suit. And once I switch to raw lifting, I'll be more used to the heavy weight. After the competition though, Clark and I will be training more of raw lifting so that we can cater to everyone in YouTube as well. Oh no, here we go. Here we go with the bad form. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, look at that back. Oh, oh mm, that's gotta hurt. Yeah. It's kind of a nervous system thing though. Like most people, when they train suited and they switch to raw, their raw lifts go up as well. Okay, to wrap up that workout, I gotta say it was good in a way that my back didn't snap and I have no sprain at all and my back wasn't sore at all the next day or 10 days or million days after that but the bad thing there is that my back was curved in a very very bad fashion so I need to really work on that so with all that done let's move on to Clark Mr. Strongman for the assistance exercises we got in some deficit deadlifts just light ones conventional grip and then we got some zerker curls which I also did the week before that and huh, my wrists exploded. No, my forearms exploded. So just to inform you guys about the competition next week, me and Clark will be competing in the 83 kilogram weight class. So that's around 185 pounds, something like that. And I'm going to be competing in the novice division and he's going to be competing in the junior division because he's only 19, I'm only 19. And that's my first um, powerlifting competition. Therefore, I'm a novice. So yeah, I'm a novice. Yeah, oh yeah. And into the topic of suits and gear lifting, um, it's my first time to use any kind of you know gear for power lifting. I'm not talking about roids. I'm talking about suits, not roids, man. If I was on roids, I'd probably, you know, be like 9,000 kilograms, and I'd be benching 6,000 pounds. So yeah, enough retardation. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna be using a suit for the entire competition, for the bench, for the squat, and the deadlift. And then after that, I'm gonna be training a bit more raw, maybe some suited also. But you know, why not? If you can hit some records suited, maybe you will be able to hit some records raw after a few months or a few years. Since, since we're natural, it's hard to get big lifts. Okay, I don't have godlike genetics or anything, so I'm just trying my best. I'm powerful and to make you powerful with me. Anyway, I think I'm very much tired of talking right now. Our next video will be our squat video. Oh my god, the long-awaited squat video that never gets finished. So that's gonna be coming out maybe this Thursday or this Wednesday. Um, around night time for the people living in the States. So I'm gonna be uploading it where, wherever I am because I'm in the Philippines. Which is GMT plus 8. So I'll be uploading it in the States which is IUTC something like that. So it's gonna be around 10 p.m. to 12 p.m. 12 midnight there. Thank you very much for watching the video if you reached it this far. And don't forget to comment below to give us some suggestions on what we should do. Don't forget to give it a like if you actually liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to me. And there is um, Clark's girlfriend proving to you that powerlifting or lifting heavy 
does not make a girl look like a freaking bodybuilder.